Hello friends, it's Courtney Frickner, the CB behind the Crafty Brick. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm excited today because I have a new embroidery project that I want to share with you. So I'm making something for my dad. We always call him the Roadrunner because he's almost 80 years old, but he still works. He travels, he plays golf, goes on golf trips. So we call him the Roadrunner and we're always just like beep beep because he's always going somewhere. So I wanted to make him something special to um, have the little Roadrunner on it so that he can wear it and just know that we love him and that just be reminded of what he's always doing. But um, I got this design, a Roadrunner design from um, Embroidery Designs and it wasn't exactly what I wanted. I liked the Roadrunner image, but I wanted to add the beep beep to it so that it had the, you know, just the full message with it. So I'm gonna show you how I did that in the Chroma Inspire software and took the design and added some text and then how I changed the colors of the design and brought it over to my EM1010 and um, stitched it all out. So I'm gonna show you that today. Thanks for being here. Let's jump into the Chroma software and show you how I do it. All right, so we're starting out in Chroma Inspire and I'm going to open a new page and open a file. So let me go to my embroidery file that I'm looking for. All right, so I got this file from Embroidery Designs. And let's see what we got here. I like to see it in the 3D format, so I click the box up here, the little cube, and then that turns it into 3D so I can see exactly what it's going to look like stitched out. So I just prefer it that way. And then what we're going to do is add some text. So I'm going to do beep, beep. And I'm going to add it, copy and paste, and bring that over here. Oops. Oh, I'm not gonna copy, oh, I'm like, why did it not work? Okay. Now, let's see, I wanna bring this down. And I think I wanna make these a little bit bigger. Delete that. Let's see how I want this to look. I'm just trying to get the size in relation to the Roadrunner to be how I'd like it. Then I'm going to come up here to the top and click this button so that they are aligned on the bottom. So they're both even on the bottom and in the same location. All right, let's see how big this is. I'm going to come up here. The width is 8.6. I need it to be 11.5. All right. Now let's check out the colors of our Roadrunner here. This is what it needs to be. Let me scoot this over so I can see this Roadrunner. All right. So blue here. Those legs need to be orange. So then I'll just click all the colors at the bottom here and change each of them to the color that I want. Initially when I got my machine I wasn't quite sure how to change these colors so when the run sheet printed out I was it was kind of challenging for me to choose the colors that I needed. But then I realized it's much easier than I thought and you just change them all and then when it prints out on the run sheet, you have exactly the colors that you want. All right, then we're gonna go up here to the top left corner and click the save button. We're gonna save this as, let's see, maybe Roadrunner. Actually, no, I have another file named Roadrunner. So let's just label it RR and we'll do 11.5 since that's the size. And then we're going to choose the location. Um, we're gonna put it right here on my drive and then click save. And now we're ready to take this to our machine. First things first, we're going to go ahead and hoop 
our shirt with our Mighty Hoop. So I'm going to place this in our Hoop Master. Open the flaps. They're magnetic, so they're going to hold my hoop in place. Put on my stabilizer and then put the tabs back down. And then I'll put my shirt on. Get it all lined up. Okay, lined up with the center of the shirt. The shoulders are all good. Smooth it out so I don't have any wrinkles in it. And then we take our top hoop, snap it into place. Lift out the bottom and the top, and then pull it off of our hoop master. And then we're gonna put it on our machine. All right, let's turn our machine on. We will put our hoop on. Alright, make sure it's in where it's supposed to be. Okay, we're good. Now let's find the file on our drive. <laughs> I had made my dad one that said meet me. I meant to <laughs> Do beep beep and I didn't, so here we are. File, and we're going to click, actually click our disk. I'm gonna go over, where is it? Hmm. Oh, Roadrunner 11.5, there we go. There's our design, it pops up right down here. All right, that's better without the light. Pops up right down here, and then we click this button to bring it from the disk over to our computer, so that's what that is. So it's loading it onto the, the um, machine. Then we click the machine and find the file that we just brought over. There it is, Roadrunner 11.5, and then we click Okay, oops, didn't remove the embroidery status. So we need to unlock. I had my machine locked. So now let's go back to our file, click the machine, find the file right there, click okay. All right, now it is on our machine. Let's make sure, I'm, I think it's got the right hoop on here. The 310 by 210. All right, I don't know if this, I'm hoping this is going, not going to be too big, this 11.5. Let's click our colors. So we've got our run sheet here. Let's go ahead and put our colors in. So first is our orange for the feet. Let's see, that's 10. And then we'll go down and pick all of our colors and just put them into the machine. All right, now we've got all of our colors entered. Click OK. And then we're going to hit the lock button and do a trace so that we can make sure that the needle is not going to hit the sides of our hoop. This is a very important part. I was a little concerned because the 11.5 seems like it's very close to the edge, but um, it's not hitting. I think I want to scoot it up a little bit, so let's use these up arrows, or down arrow, just scoot it up a little bit. Okay, now let's trace again. Now we're ready to start.
good it looks. My dad is going to love this. So excited. Next, I just needed to remove the excess stabilizer from the inside of the shirt. So I just cut around the design. Make sure that you don't cut your shirt. That would be bad. Don't ask me how I know. <laughs> um, and then you can go ahead and put some tender touch on the inside. I don't usually apply that if I'm doing a hoodie because it's not gonna be touching your skin, but when I'm doing a t-shirt, I prefer to have the tender touch so it's softer on my skin. Okay, here is our final t-shirt. I am so excited. I love how it turned out. I think my dad is going to love it. Um, like I said, I made him one before and it had meat meat. And he was like, what is meat meat? I, I don't think that that's what it says. I'm like, okay, let me make another one. But I love how it turned out. I love that I can use my machine and create all these custom designs that look so good embroidered. So thank you for being here today with me. If you want more information about the Chrome software or about my EM1010. There's more info in the description below, so check that out. If you liked this video, learned something new, don't forget to like, subscribe, turn on the notifications so that you don't miss anything crafty because I'm always here sharing some type of crafty content. And I'll be back, and until then, stay crafty, my friends. Bye.